Hey astrology lovers, I'm your astrologer Julia Mikas with Luna and I'm going to tell you what's in the stars for this cosmically charged October. Mercury is going retrograde, a few planets are going to be the closest that they have been to Earth in years, and we're also going to get a blue moon which means we're going to have two full moons going on, making October extra emo. Now I'm making short but sweet horoscope videos every month so subscribe below if you want to get the latest cosmic news. Now October starts with a bang as there's a full moon in Aries on the first of this month. Month. And this is going to be an emotionally feisty moon as people everywhere are going to have to work on negotiation within their relationships. Now the effects of a lunation is going to last for about two weeks, which then takes us to the new moon in Libra on October 16th. So people will be starting a new cycle of partnership activity, though some challenging squares from astrology's bad boys, Saturn and Pluto, means that you might get into a power struggle or circumstances may thwart your efforts to get ahead in your relationships. Then the last full moon in Taurus is going to be on Halloween with Uranus, the planet of sudden incidents, smack dab on it. So this is also going to be a day when Uranus is closest to the Earth, which is going to really magnify its influence. So all I can say is expect the unexpected on Halloween and everyone is probably going to be eating themselves sick because it's Taurus after all. On October 13th, Mars will be closest it has been to Earth in two years. Now this influence can mess with blood pressure, infections, inflammation, pimples, and accidents. So please take care of your health around then. Then the Moon is going to go void of course for almost 24 hours from 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on October 24th to the 25th. Now usually the Moon only goes void of course for a few hours at a time, so this is a fuck ton. So don't start anything new during those days because nothing ever results in whatever gets started. Now Mercury is also going to be closest to the Earth around then, so this is going to be a time for contemplation instead of initiation. Hey Aquarius, so Mars is still retrograde in your third house of siblings, neighborhood, and communication. Expect frustrations with and through all forms of communication, including letters, emails, texts, and blogs. If you have to learn something new during this cycle, then it could be so frustrating because your mind is just distracted and you've been feeling extra dyslexic lately. And if you do any writing, you might hit a serious writer's block too during the cycle. You could also be a lot more verbally feisty now, so check yourself before you wreck yourself. There could also be loads of issues coming from your neighborhood too, like terrible construction noise, park closures, or unjust traffic tickets. Mars also rules your 10th house of authority figures, so your parents, teachers, or bosses could contend with your snappiness. Muy caliente! So Venus, the planet of relationships, enters your 8th house of intimacy and other people's money. The 8th house is a spooky, trippy, and kinky place, and wherever we have Venus is where we have a little bit of fun, so you could be drawn to the dark side of this life, or maybe you just enjoy being a big ol' freak. This house also rules research and investigation, so you could enjoy deep diving on something at work or in your personal life. And Mercury, the planet of communication and mentation, is moonwalking in your 10th house of work and reputation. You could be having miscommunications at work with your boss, clients, co-workers, or customers, so prepare to have to clear the air at some point. This house also rules your reputation, so if there's any bitchy gossip out there, you might have to go back and set the record straight. Thanks for watching! I'm putting out astrology videos all the time, so if you want to hear me talk about anything special, please leave a comment below. Ciao for now!